two there. Yeah. Woo. Nice right on. I got two. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Grew up in the woods and baptized in a swamp. Hey guys. Just loading up the truck, getting ready to go for our goose hunt down south. Um, she's a little frosty out this morning. The truck's nice and cold. Went and did a little bit of shooting last night. Checked which uh, choke on the, the my new shotgun there. New to me, my uh, Benelli Super Black Eagle 2. So I had two chokes with it. I had a, um, a mid range and a long range. So the one was just a modified and then the other one's a full. So I checked it out with the ammo that I had and the modified actually worked better at uh, 30 yards. The other one was at the, the full was at, uh, at 30 yards was really like, like there's a lot of holes in it where the modified was like a tighter, like better spread out pattern. So i um, gonna rock that one out. And then we tried Laura with the 870 goose gun just with the choke that it has on there. Um, it doesn't have any ex like changeable chokes. And uh, her pattern of 30 was like bang on. So we're uh, just packing up. Lola's getting breakfast uh, scraped out of the pan. <laughs> you say it like it's burnt. It's not burnt. It's not I burnt. Just... It's not not burnt, but it's not burnt. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> See, look, not burnt. Not burnt. Not, not burnt. burnt. No, not burnt. <laughs> no, they all just stuck in the pan on her. But uh, that's it. Pulled them up. And then Danny also does all the, the scoring. Yeah, thing. the scoring. Amazing. You know about this dog? They do a Nightmare Before Christmas Hollywood live thing at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Me and my girl went there, and we got these VIP tickets to. We finally made it here um, after our seven-hour drive. Got our stuff uh, sprawled out. We were originally coming down with. Um, to hunt with uh, Longbeard guiding, oh, yeah. yeah, and um, he uh, he was checking. He said he didn't see many birds there. Uh, we were talking to him the other day, and so he went out and checked this morning, and still nothing. So he didn't really want us to drive down for nothing. So he, uh, I guess, he's good friends with a guy who does a lot of snow goose uh, guided hunts and stuff like that. So he's gonna set us up with a snow goose hunt with them with no extra charge. He's gonna let us go with that, and then depending on. Um, how we like it, or uh, if we feel like it, um, we'll pay extra because there's an open spot for the next morning too. So we might do the two mornings instead of just the one. And then he's got like the you know the thousand decoy spread of snow geese, so should be really cool. Uh, hopefully some great footage, but um, it'll be a cool experience, uh, especially because none of us have obviously shot snow goose. I've seen a couple fly over, but that's about it. So and then maybe some potential for future. We might end up being returning clients to the snow goose hunt. We'll see, but uh, yeah. So keep you guys posted. Hello, whiskey. Yes. 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 Whiskey is a cute little rescue puppy. A nice little hot tub here. <laughs> the Airbnb we're at. Lola can only put her feet in, but. but I'm gonna have warm feet. <laughs> Hopefully, we're gonna get uh, either now that we're snow goose hunting, um, either one of the white or the blue uh, morph snow goose. Depending on what we get, we'd like to get one mounted. So, Taxidermist said he'll give us a deal if we bring him one. So, and then if we bring him a blue, he might even give us more of a deal. So, excellent. Yeah, hopefully, we shoot <laughs> a lot of good ones. <laughs> Hot tub time. So, we're meeting him here for six at Tim Hortons. Um, it's a little late considering that uh, shooting light, I think, is like 610 or something. Um, but I don't know if that's just because the snows maybe fly a little bit uh, later or something. I'm not sure, but we're on our way. What are you doing? Breakfast. Breakfast? Breakfast. Breakfast champions. The high better breakfast of champions. There's a hell of a lot of peanut butter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? You know, pregnant. <laughs> but good. It's nice and it's kind of warm here, so. Yeah, it's only two. I know. Which is nice. Be nice and toasty. It's like it's September again. <laughs> Instead of November. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to meet at six at Timmy's. And like I was saying, I thought it was too bright, but um, what nobody really said to us, or and we didn't have the other guy's number from the other guide service, or the name, or anything, um, but he meant to meet at 6, but the time changed this morning, so he messaged everyone back saying to meet at 5. Um, we never got that message, so that's why it seemed like we should have been out in the blind, because we should have been out in the blind. <laughs> um, but I remember seeing 
a post because he Danny sent us pictures I remember seeing his post on Facebook on one of the waterfowl pages so I creeped the shit out of both of those guys and messaged both of them and then one of them got back to me right away gave me a number called said you know it was a time change and uh, you know just they're all set up decoys are all ready uh, he'll meet us on the side of the road we're only 10 minutes away so we're on our way there now to go meet up with him and uh, oh, birds will probably be flying soon I guess <laughs> making our way out right now thankfully we found him on Facebook but got the setup he said no birds have been flying yet at all yet you can hear some calling way out there but uh, so at least we're not we're late but we're not super late we missed all the hard work late for that photo. So bad so far. I haven't taken a shot because they're just either too far or the one that was close was one. The one and there's ten people shooting. Yeah, there's ten people shooting, so. <laughs> Plus side, you wouldn't have to grind it to turn it into hamburger. Excellent, yeah, that's true. Free hamburger. Free tenderized. <laughs> so we're just taking a little break right now. Pretty big spread out there. But, uh... Yeah. Guide's gone for a coffee and to see where the geese are. So, <laughs> could be a good sign, could be a bad sign. <laughs> Thank you. So we just seen like, oh geez, it must have been a thousand or so of snows fly by, but he was saying there's probably about 10 or 15,000 that landed behind us. And once the bad weather starts, they should pick up and slowly start coming to the corn. So we're just kind of getting some drinks, getting some food, and then, uh, but we're pretty, pretty much here all day, but it was nice to see all those, and especially in the sun, it was pretty crazy. So we're back, um, just finished warming up some food, um, got the fire going just to kind of dry some stuff off, rain on us pretty hard uh, throughout the day, seen lots, like thousands and thousands and thousands, but they just kept bouncing from their grass field and back over another grass field, they actually didn't even touch the corn, they just kept bouncing around us and uh, never came through, so the guy had seemed pretty frustrated obviously. But uh, we shot a few, I think, uh, I think we got four or five snow geese and two Canadian geese, but that was it for like 10 hunters. So it was kind of, we let the other guys all take the, take the geese just cause we're gonna go back again tomorrow and try our luck. Um, he's hoping tomorrow will be a bit better. Uh, a bit of snow tomorrow, it's kind of cold and uh, should get them moving. Also in the, the fact that 
they haven't even eaten corn yet. So he said, he said eventually they, they can they can only eat so much grass and they have to jump back to corn. So he said like they should be coming to corn. So tomorrow should be a better day, hopefully. Um, but it's still been a lot of fun. It's been a good little birthday gift from the Lola. <laughs> <laughs> but we had fun. We seen like just ridiculous Lots amount of, of birds. Yeah, it was like cool. Not something. We've yeah, seen it was crazy. And even just Canadians, like we've seen probably over a thousand Canadian geese oh, today. Yeah. Like just flying over all over and like low and uh, just it was a really cool experience anyways but your <laughs> leftover grub and then pack everything up and then we're gonna go hunt there and then we're gonna leave straight from the field back home oh. seven hours yeah. sit 11 drive for seven she's gotta work I don't know, I'm gonna so. sleep on the <laughs> but we'll see how tomorrow is and we'll see you guys in the morning all right round two we're here Fight. new hunters she's got her coffee we're at uh, super windy out a little bit of snow this morning but uh, hopefully better than yesterday. Um, new round of hunters too, so we're gonna be the only returns from yesterday. And uh, I'm just gonna get everything ready, get in the truck and get out in the blind and yeah. get at it. Get her. Like uh, between four fifty to five hundred. Okay. Four more coming in. Okay, four more. All that was that was too far, and I was waiting for these guys to maybe circle, and it was like, yeah, I know a whole bunch of them over there. Seagull gave me a freight. <laughs>
wind, man. Nice. I dropped I, that one. I hit one, and then I seen you hit one, and as I was aiming towards that one, you hit it again. Yeah. Over. Did we get that whole flock? Yeah. Five or six. Five or six. One BB. So we're back now. Um, we didn't do any filming on our way home. We kind of just got everything ready. It was just starting to snow when we left the field. Um, and uh, it was like about a seven hour drive, but uh, the roads got icy so fast. Um, ended up being three road closures on the way. We were able to detour around two of them, and then we got stuck behind one for about 45 minutes there, car flipped over, so kind of a uh, crappy ride home. Took us 10 hours, so um, the taxidermist was nice enough to wait up for us there. We ended up getting to his place probably around uh, almost two o'clock in the morning and uh, dropped off the bird for him and uh, he's gonna get it done up for me so um, that worked out but uh, it, we had a lot of fun it was good uh, we didn't see as, we didn't shoot as many birds as we wanted to or hoped to but uh, you know it just is what it is apparently snow geese are like that they're hit or miss so uh, we're gonna we might try again in the spring um, go back out and see if we can't get some more but uh, it was a great experience um, Matthew was uh, an awesome guide and uh, he worked hard for us so hopefully we can make it work next year and um, but we had a lot of fun seen a lot of birds hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe hit the little notification bell if you want to keep listening to my nonsense and watching our videos next week we're gonna do some deer hunting um, and that's probably it for me for waterfowl I'm gonna put the boat away um, and uh, yeah like I said it's probably it so Thanks for watching and stay tuned for deer. <laughs> Grew up in the woods and baptized in a swamp.